All right, coding fans, here we are at Train Your Expert, which is the second uh, lesson in initialization. Um, and just looking at the map right here, uh, we are looking at three gems on the right and the mirror image of that three gems on the left. So we're gonna use that repeatable pattern to help us out. Also, we have a, sw uh, not a switch, a lock uh, that we're gonna have to turn down in order to get those platforms to go down so that we can solve the left side of this puzzle. Uh, let's initialize our expert. So the expert is who's gonna show up on the puzzle. I want him to look and act like a capital expert, which is that type. And I'm gonna run my code. He should pop up on the arrow right there facing this gym. So he starts off with a gym in front, a gym in back, and a gym to the left. And in order for this to be repeatable, we're going to need him to, after he gets those gems, move over to this middle spot on the platform facing towards the lock direction. Okay. With this one, we're going to do a lot of moving around. Uh, it looks like he's got to move two to get that gem and move two to get back, move two to get the gem. So move two is a, a big one. So we're going to go ahead and write a function called move two. So M of E, and I'm just gonna use the number two. You can put numbers in your functions. Uh, they just can't start your functions. And just for funsies, let's go ahead and do a for loop, one and two. And right there, we want our lowercase expert, the uh, character on the map to dot move forward twice. All right, we're gonna clean that up a little bit. So move two is gonna be a good function. Now, it also looks like we're gonna to have to move to and collect gem six times. So that's another repeatable function. So we can nest these functions. We're gonna call this move, capital and, capital collect, because that's what he's going to do. So our function body, we can go move to, and we don't need the expert dot move to because the function already has expert in it. He knows that he runs move to. And then we need to expert dot collect gem. Okay, so six times we're gonna have to move to. Six times we're going to have to uh, collect and move, or move and collect to get back. Uh, and we can use move to as well to get our character over to the other side. We're also going to turn around six times. So let's write a third function called turn around. Capital A-R-O-U-N-D. Uh, and that's going to be, not function, it's going to be a for loop uh, twice. And as usual, it's going to be expert dot turn left or expert dot turn right. As long as he does one or the other twice, that will be a 180 degree turn. Going to clean these functions up a little bit. All right, so that's where these are. Um, we've got move to to get him to move forward twice, move and collect to get him to move to, and then collect the gem, and we have turn around. Get myself a fresh line of code uh, to break up where the function is and also make sure that I'm not coding in one of the function bodies. Because if you start coding inside this function, it won't run and it'll screw up. So I'm right here below this bottom brace, and I can start coding. Um, and it would look like I want to start off with a for loop doing it three times, but because I need our character to stop and turn that lock down in the middle of it, I'm going to run a two a for loop twice. So twice... Our character is going to move and collect, turn around, move to, and then to get them to reset, so they'll move forward, collect that gem, turn around, come back, and they'll be facing the lock. I'm gonna get the expert to dot, lowercase expert dot, turn right, and that'll allow them to reset. And we're gonna go ahead and run this uh, just to see where we end up. Uh, it makes it easier to edit your code, I think, uh, to run the code a little bit more often as you go in steps. All right, cool, we're right there. We are facing the gym. So we can either copy and paste that code, uh, which I think is what we're gonna do. 
I want to grab this stuff right here. So move and collect, turn around and move to. And the easy way to do this is just to get your cursor, tap your cursor so that it's there, tap it again, hit select, grab the top ball and move it up there. And this bottom one, uh, we're gonna move it to right here. Tap the blue, copy it. Down below, I'm gonna paste it right here. And so that'll get them to collect the gem. But remember, after we collect the gem, we're going to need to toggle, or not toggle the switch, turn the lock up. So after we move and collect, but before we turn around, so after move and collect, but before we turn around, the expert is going to dot turn the lock down. So we had turn lock up, now we've got turn lock down right there. Okay. Now, I don't know if it needs to go down once or twice, so we're gonna go ahead and run it pretty fast. Uh, to make sure everything is rolling the way we want it to. Okay, so turning it down once does it. We're facing the right direction. So we need to move forward three and turn right. So I'm gonna use move to and then expert dot move forward. Expert dot move forward. The other thing we could do to get three all right, here's kind of a little cheat. So we can go back up here and we can grab this for loop right here if we want to kind of make this a little bit easier and copy the move to code and paste it here and change the two to a three. So there's another little kind of caveat on how we could get this done. And then to get our character so that there is a Gym in front, a gym behind, and a gym to the left, we're going to need our expert to dot turn right. And that will get everything set up so that we can do another copy and paste. But let's go ahead and run this real quick to make sure that I've counted everything correctly. All right, move two, turn lock down, come back, turn right, move three. All right, good. So this is now the same pattern that we did with the for loop that I just highlighted. Okay, and we do that, we're gonna tap the, pot, the purple four, turn it blue, and we're gonna get this black pop-up box. And I'm gonna hit copy there. Down here, I'm gonna get a fresh line of code. I'm gonna say, okay, paste. And I want this to happen three times. We'll go ahead and run that. And that should get all of this done. Now it looks like a lot of code, um, mainly because it is, but if we're looking at what's going on, we've written three functions to make this even easier. We could also write more functions so that the code down here will be easier, um, or it'll be less, but you know, I think this is just the right amount of code to get this done efficiently and, and to do this. Um, the other thing that we could do if we don't like our character to come back uh, at the very end, as you saw, is we can go back and change this to a two loop uh, and just run a move and collect at the very end. And you'll notice that that will cut out the final turnaround and move to and turn right. Uh, and it'll make your code more efficient if you're worried about that. Um, so this is inside of our two loop and our final thing is turn right, move and collect. And now there's no wasted motions. Um, our, our character does everything. So there's a lot of different ways to do this um, and a lot of correct ways. This is just one way I thought of that uh, really shows our code writing with function writing uh, and for loops and using functions and all that stuff. All right, see you on the next one.